So the short answer to today's topic, yes, we can actually fly near airports and we can fly in controlled airspace. It's all going to depend on a couple things like making sure that you utilize Lance to request permission in an area. And if you're looking at a zero foot AGL area, then you're going to be doing a little bit extra. And if you're a DJI user, you're also going to need to think about DJI's Fly Safe app to unlock the areas you want to fly in. Let's get started. We'll take a look at things and we'll talk through what it's going to take. Morning, everybody. As always, welcome to the channel and thanks for stopping by. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host and we're going to jump right into this today. I recently posted a new video on doing a GeoZone uh, Geo unlock for our new DJI Avada and found that it was actually easier than I first thought. But I wanted to talk to you today about flying near airports and can you do it and how complex is it? Because we've got a new client that just recently came on board with us. And one of the reasons they came on board was because they were wanting to get real estate images for their customers. And those customers are pretty close to our regional airport, KPRC. So before we get into checking out maps and things, I just wanted to show you this is one of our client locations. This client is actually having the home built for them. And the home is very close to KPRC, our regional airport here. Now, Prescott, Arizona is pretty unique. We have the flight school Embry-Riddle here, and we have several other flight schools as well. So there is a fair amount of traffic in the area, air traffic. And as you're getting closer to KPRC to do your jobs, of course, we're in controlled airspace. And that means that we need to put in a Lance request. And sometimes that means that we need to put in a Lance request that has further consideration because it's in zero foot AGL. And when you look at aeronautical charts and you see the areas that are zero foot AGL, that means you're not flying the drone there unless you get permission, unless you notify, request permission, and also potentially explain the safety measures that you're going to be taking to make sure that you're not interfering in any way with manned aircraft because that's the last thing we want to do now i know this might sound daunting if you're a new drone pilot and i understand it the first couple of times when you're closer to an airport and when you've submitted for permissions it is a little unnerving because you don't want to be the poster uh, the poster child for an incident that uh, that brings bad light on all of us in the drone industry so i'm just going to switch over here and what i'm pulling up now just so you get a feel for the area is uh this is a loft and this is one of the apps that i use for submitting my requests whenever i'm doing work in a lance area so a loft has a um has an app so i can always check the app on my iphone or on my ipad whatever mobile device i have in the field and I wanted to zoom this out for you. So we, we're still having a pretty busy real estate market here. I know things have been slowing down a little bit for some folks in 2022. For us, that's not the case. But um, recently I met a new realtor uh, referred by another person I work with. And her big question was, can she get some imaging for some of her clients who are closer to KPRC? So what we're looking at right now you can see the red area and that is the uh that is the airport and around the airport you'll see a lot of zero foot agl the other thing that you will also see let's zoom back in here just for a moment all of these new roads are featuring new houses so there are a ton of houses here over toward larry caldwell drive all the new builds that are going on here new builds that are going on here with all of these homes as well so we do have a lot of zero foot AGL around us. And by the way, if you don't know, AGL stands for above ground level. So by the way, near the uh, airport strip here, we also have a golf course and we've got new homes going in here. We've got new homes going into the south as well. So there's a lot of new construction, a lot of new homes for sale, either being constructed directly for folks or spec homes that are going to be marketed online and people will come across them and find the homes they want. But as you can see, as we zoom out, we've got zero AGL all around here, which means we're not just going out to the location and firing up the drone. It also means we're not going out to the location, 
firing up a loft and putting in an application for right now because it's not going to happen. Also, if you're a DJI user, getting into the zero foot AGL areas, DJI uh, drones require an unlocking code that you get from DJI's FlySafe. So you need to do a little planning beforehand. If you have a realtor or a construction group or someone who's in zero AGL, there's going to be a little extra planning on your part. Now, I do have several videos that we posted about getting permission in zero AGL. They're down in the show notes below, so be sure to check those and watch those videos. But one of the big reasons I wanted to talk about this today was because of our testing with the DJI Avada FPV drone. So we've been having a lot of fun with the Avada, and I just posted a video about doing an unlocking code with the Avada because we needed to take our Avada out to a client location to fly indoors. However, if we're indoors, we're not in controlled airspace anymore, right? So we can fly inside. Well, DJI doesn't know if you're inside or outside, unfortunately. There is no indoor and outdoor mode on the Avada. And with that said, if a, if a uh, realtor or another client calls you up and says, I've got a house right in here. Oh, look at all these houses, by the way. So I've got a house in here that we're selling. We want you to fly through the interior and do an interior video with the Avada. Well, you know what? Even though I'm flying inside, I am going to be putting in a Lance request because otherwise out here, it is going to tell me that I can't do it. I don't have an unlock code and I'm not good to go. So I have to go through the Lance process with a loft. So that's my first step in it, submitting a request. I usually submit the request several days out to make sure that they have time to process the request. They get an email and text message back to me, whether or not I'm approved or disapproved. If they don't get back, they will just let your request expire, which has happened to us a couple of times, usually coming up on holiday weekend. So that seems to be a consistent pattern we've noticed. So we make sure to um, make our request as soon as we can. So this particular realtor wanted an indoor flight over here. And so in order to do that, we had to put in that Lance request. We also have a regular customer, you saw the video around the home, who's finishing their build right out here. So um, the home is not completed yet, but every time that we pay a visit to this home, we make sure that uh, we plan well in advance. We put it in our request through a loft. And like I said, there are other Lance applications out there. So it's up to you, whichever one you wanna use. But in the end, when you get the authorization back from a loft or anybody else, you then need to go to DJI's website, the DJI FlySafe website, and um, put in your authorization there, and then you'll get your unlocking code. I'm going to show you something that's kind of weird, DJI FlySafe. So I right now am on a uh, Mac Studio, and I'm on Chrome, and I'm going to go into FlySafe DJI. And then if I scroll on down here, we can go down to make an unlocking request. Like I said, I've got a longer video about that in the show description down below. But to do an unlock a zone, I'm gonna click on this really quick. And as you can see, I'm having an issue. Once again, I'm on the Chrome browser. I am on Mac OS X Ventura and nothing is coming up here. So one thing that I've found in accessing the DJI FlySafe, this is not a new thing for me at least, is that I have to go over and um, use, um, instead of Chrome, I, we do have to utilize Firefox instead. Firefox, for some reason, opens everything up here where Chrome does not do that for me. So that's a frustration. So by the way, if you're a Mac user and you've run into this problem, drop me a note below um, utilizing Chrome with DJI's Fly Safe page. So I'm gonna close that one really quick, but you go into Fly Safe zone unlocking and um, then you wait for the response from them and you will get an unlock code and which was very easy to do on the Avada and on our Mavic 2 Pros as well. Once you get everything set up, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. By the way, I'm just gonna zoom this out here. So for longtime subscribers, you've seen some of the gorgeous locations around Prescott. One of my favorite places, the Granite Dells. And just taking a look down here with all the beautiful rocks and Watson Lake and Willow Lake, these are in 400 AGL. Usually if you go out to the location, you pull up your Lance application and you put in for permission, you'll get the permission very quickly within a matter of moments, at least on a loft. But so we do have some zero to work around. And so that is going to be something for you to get to know. And being able to operate 
in these areas is really important and really sought after. So the new realtor that I'm working with, she said to me, you know, the, uh, the photographer slash drone operator that we currently use just won't even fly in here. Doesn't ask for the permission. She didn't know, um, about the rules around it. So I explained it to her and very simply and quickly, I was told you're our new drone operator for, for some of the sales that we're doing. And once again, going back to the Avada, if I'm working in this area and the realtor says to me, Hey, I want you to do some indoor fly throughs. We're not going outside at all. I'm still going to be putting in the request because of the fact there's no indoor outdoor mode. So plopping that drone into a home that's in that zero AGL, you're probably going to get notification that you do need an unlocking code. And if you didn't get the unlocking code, you just wasted your time heading on out there. So once again, down in the show details, you can check out the other videos on setting up for zero AGL. I do walk through the process and then I have a follow-up video that answers a couple of questions that people ask about flying in zero AGL. And, um, so there you go. And by the way, if you just got a brand new FPV drone for the Christmas season, congratulations. I hope you enjoy it and have a lot of fun with it. And you're still operating under the restrictions and the requirements of controlled airspace that the bigger drones that aren't flying so close, close to the ground, um, even though they're up in the air higher versus, let's say, the FPV drone, um, they're still subject to the same requirements. Um, one other thing just to note, so this is one of the other locations that we have. One of the things that I do like on the new interface is for a loft right over here on the right hand side. So I already popped in the area that I wanna be working in. And what's really nice is if I click on Lance here, um, I can go through and do my application here. The other nice thing is over on the left hand side, I've actually got my list of authorized and completed items um, that I've been doing for that client and another client in this area. So this is one of the things that I really do appreciate with the updated version of um, Aloft's web interface. And it's looking pretty good on the uh, mobile devices as well. All right, everybody, I hope this was useful, informative, and educational for you. And if you still have more questions about actually setting this up, please check those other videos down in the notes below. And as always, please like and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get notified when we new, do new videos about building our drone businesses, building our imaging businesses, and everything that goes along with it. All right, everyone, here we are looking forward to a happy 2023.